when I was traveling, I found myself looking at some titles that were no longer in print and uh, that I was kind of wondering if they're worth the pickup. So what I thought I'd do in this uh, series here is uh, I'm going to do some retro unboxings. Today we're looking at the original Vincent Price collection from Arrow Video. There is a, a second version of it out now, but I'll be unboxing and showing you guys the, uh, the original Vincent Price Classics Collection. In case you're wondering what that is, it's this one. Right here, six gothic tales. So I'll be back in a moment to look at it with you. Alright, here's a look at the sexy exterior of it. We can see that it has six movies there. we got The Haunted Palace. We have uh, Tomb of Legia, The Raven, Fall House of the Usher, Pit and the Pendulum, Tales of Terror, and the, the book. You're going to really get a good look at the book. It's really, really cool. We've got the artwork on the, on the back. Now, not really a lot, just the regular stuff uh, throughout there, but uh, it's a gorgeous one. All right, so here we are with the uh, with the first one. You can see the special features. Or you want to you can pause if you want to. You can see there's audio commentaries here. We got uh, interview with Roger Corman. This is the first one, the Haunted Palace. This is the original artwork, the poster art, gorgeous poster art back then. You can see on the cover there on the uh, on the Blu-ray cover. I'm not going to be able to get this one out with one hand. That uh, that that's the artwork for the Haunted Palace. That's the alternate artwork, the the new artwork that they place there. I'll try and do it for one of these at least. So we can see the special features on this one as well. Uh, isolated, like, uh, tr soundtrack. This is from, this is Tomb of uh, Fantastic film. Unrated film, actually. Uh, the artwork here, will I get the artwork? Will I get it this time? Uh, I'm struggling with it. I got one hand. I'm going to work with one hand, guys. Uh, so a bit of a struggle. Uh, but you can see the artwork right there. We'll, uh, we'll try once more. We'll do it once more. There we go. Third time's a charm. We got the artwork uh, here, the interior artwork. You can see it's the same as the, uh, as the disc. On the Blu-ray there, so uh, let's move on to uh, if I can get this one back in. Let's move on to the uh, to the third one. All right, it's a great set. I mean, like uh, just hit on the special features there. You can see we're on to our third disc right now. Two faces of Peter Laurie, six to a minute, like a career-spanning portrait, fantastic stuff. A, a short film by uh, Rob Green is on here as well, and of course this is the classic, The Raven, Vincent Price, Peter Laurie, Boris Karloff, a great Roger Corman film. One that I, I really love, and I haven't changed artwork over on this one, so I literally have to sh to uh, show you this one. So we're gonna have a little bit of a struggle there, and uh, open it up. And there you can see, you see, that's the original artwork for the Raven. I kind of like this new artwork. Uh, the Raven's one of my favorite poems, uh, second only to Annabelle when it comes to uh, to Roger uh, to to Roger Carman, to Edgar Allan Poe's works. So we'll get on to the uh, to the next one. Again, we're looking at special features here. We got the Fragments of the House of Usher, specially commissioned one. There's a gorgeous artwork. And this, uh, this is the new art as well. I'll uh, get you the original art here too. Uh, again, working with one hand, so this is always a bit of a, bit of a challenge here. Uh, the original artwork's actually really good. Why didn't I switch that over? Uh, I'm not sure why. I go back and forth with these here. The original artwork on this is absolutely stunning. So we're going to put the House of Usher there. And we're going to move on. We can see another one here behind the swinging blades. So we know that is already an evening event with Edgar Allan Poe, 15 minute one. That's actually really cool. And uh, so it's a pit and a pendulum. I love this artwork here, the classic art. You can see the alternate art here is not half as good. I I think Arrow kind of dropped the ball a bit on the artwork for that one. But considering what they've done with this set, run to the next one here, Kim Newman and Edgar Allan Poe, the Black Cat in 1933 short adaption. Uh, so here we are, the Tales of Terror. It is a gorgeously done one. And uh, just look at let's look at the original art because it's kind of like the Dell, a Dell comic book art. You'll see what I mean. You want to see what's so special about this set? It starts right here with this six Gothic tale hardbound book. Uh, it's gorgeously done. It's uh, it is extremely well bound as all the books are. We we'll look at the uh, the contents here. You can see stuff by Tim Lucas, Jonathan Rigby, Roger Clark, Vic Platt. Uh, but what we're, is really exciting 
what I really want to look at is, you can see it right down there, yep, the three Dale comic book complete adaptions. You can see we start with the, uh, with the new artwork, the cast, the crew. We have the, uh, the essays here. There's one by Jonathan Rigby, The Waiting Pit of Hell, of Horror. And, uh, oh, man, I, I'm so glad that I got this. My better half said not to wait on this, and she was right. Uh, you can see a peak of the comic. We're going to get to that. Don't worry. We, we haven't got there yet, but uh, there's an interview here with uh, Roger Corman. It's a really good one with uh, Dave DeVell. Uh, and uh, sitting down talking to Roger Corman. It's a long interview. Let's, let's go to those comics. I know that's what you want to see. So we start off the Tales of Terror. You can see the covers have been reproduced and everything. And look, the inside of the cover there with the picture stills from the movie are there. And just look at the artwork on this. Like, see how, how closely they, like, they resemble uh, the way this is done. Look at Peter Laurie there. Uh, it's just amazing. And the, the way the colors are done for, uh, for these releases, it's, it's absolutely stunning. I, I can look at these all day. And I've read through each of these comics. And look at it here. Even the back, like, ads around here as well. We get to The Raven. I love this cover right here. I love that they like the original comics to these, but if you don't, at least they got this book to uh, relive this with. Again, we got that like uh, that promotional art there as well on the, on the inside cover. And then we get into The Raven. I kind of wondered if they were going to use the actual Raven poem. They, they don't. They go with the, uh, with the story, which makes sense. And here we get to Malagia, uh, very kind of like a different looking uh, cover and a very different looking uh, price for this one. We see some... Uh, some pictures here as well, and just some wonderful stuff. Great book. Uh, I really recommend it. The Vincent Price Six Gothic Tales set is probably one of the best things in my collection and one of the things I'm most proud of. When you're curating a collection of movies that you want, make sure that they're movies that you're proud of and ones that you actually want in your collection because they're movies that you want to watch. I grew up with the Vincent Price films, watch a lot of these on a regular basis. The book is just such an added bonus and if you find this for a, a decent price, don't go like scalper price, but I would say this is really, really worth getting. So I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll do some more retro unboxing reviews here in the near future. Uh, if I had to like place these movies in like an order of like uh, like how I watch them, I uh, it's really hard to say, but I would say I probably like my better half is probably The Raven, because that you know she likes more the humorous aspect of uh, of price. For me. Pit and the Pendulum, House of Usher, really stand out. Tomb of is probably the most underrated film in the uh, collection. But either way, you've got six gothic tales, and every single one of them is an absolute treasure. See you next time here on the Call of Cinema. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to. You can become a patron and find even more bonus videos. I would greatly appreciate that. But either way, enjoy yourself, enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time.